Hey yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, this is Power Owner, and today we're here with another episode of Minecraft Prison Break, and in today's episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to become extremely OP, and well, it's gonna be pretty insane. Also, we're gonna do some custom enchants that were recently added to the server, and another thing that I wanna mention is that, as you guys can see, today is a double upload, so I'm gonna link them below another episode that I uploaded today, so go check it out, guys, if you haven't seen it yet, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the winner of the previous episode episode right now on the screen so congratulations to you and in the future we might do more giveaways so make sure you guys subscribe with the notifications on to be notified if we're gonna do another giveaway but anyways without further ado let's just jump right into today's episode and here we go So we're gonna get today's episode started and well I'm not sure if you guys remember but in the last episode I said okay now we have 1001 kills I guess I'll go for 2,000. Okay, that's not gonna happen in today's episode. And, well, we went ahead and did it off camera. If we pop up stats, then as you guys can see, we now have 2,500 mob kills. Also, it's honorable to mention that we have 206 player kills and our balance is a little over 1 billion. So if we go to slash ranks, then as you guys can see, we are gonna be able to rank up at least once, at least twice, and well, third time, I don't know because we need a lot more in-game money for that. But we have enough mob kills for that. We have enough player kills for that. And well, we have enough mob kills until the X rank. So uh, yeah, we're pretty far out. And also we have enough player kills to get all the way to the end. But one might ask, how on earth did we do this? And well, the way we did this was uh, very simple. So first of all, the sword we are using right now is a donator sword and the set that we're using is still the god set but the sword is the key thing and another key thing is we use a lot of potions and these are from the district one area and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to actually get them for those who don't know because you must have them to be op Alrighty guys, so now we're at Warp Mob Arena and before we go anywhere further than this Warp area, I want to quickly show you guys a few things that are worth to know. So District Warps is going to teleport to those districts, but District 2 teleports you in the beginning of their bridge. So you're actually inside District 1, so you don't actually need to run all the way to the end there. You can just teleport to District 2 and you're going to be in District 1. And the next area I want to quickly mention is the Donator Shop. And uh, you can actually get silver tokens and gold tokens while you're playing the game. So I purchased myself the Donator Sword Tier 1. Now, as it says, Tier 1, it's Tier 1. So it's going to be worse than that. I didn't know that. So I bought myself Tier 2 Sword as well. And it was clearly the best option to go with. And in a minute, I will show you guys. Also, there are other pickaxes that we could purchase from here. But we're not going to do that. But anyways, we're now going to go to District 1. And look at this. We're gonna get there in like no time and bam we're already in district one next area that i want to show you guys is well they have also added custom enchants but before i show you this i want to show you guys something here Alrighty, so this guy is unfortunately invisible for me but he's existing okay so if we click right here as you guys can see there's a shopkeeper and this shopkeeper sells us potions and while you're grinding you're gonna get a lot of monster crystals and a lot of zombie hearts and zombie hearts will get you strength potions and crystals will get you swiftness. It's actually much easier to get the strength potions. I highly recommend everybody to get strength potions because you're going to be doing a lot more damage. And obviously with the swiftness, you're going to be much faster so you can rack up those kills in no time. And well, you're going to be getting more loot as well. So normally it would take me three hits to kill one of these guys. But once I drink the strength potion, I'm going to kill them much faster. And another thing which is beautiful is that I don't actually need to wait until the sword pulls back up because it's in other pvp than 1.8 but you can still spam click through because you're not gonna be doing that little damage and well as you guys can see we're two shotting them and that's how i got so many kills i was literally spending most of the time over here and trying to get the kills we also spent some time in district 3 but they're pretty strong there so i spent mainly time here because well i just needed kills and i didn't really go for any loot right now but anyways now we're at the enchantments area so this was something that was more recently added and I haven't actually tried it out quite yet. I haven't enchanted anything but from here you can actually see what enchantments they have here. And well they have quite a few things in here as you guys can see. 
you have all different categories and I think the thing that I'm gonna focus on is obviously my pickaxe and I wouldn't mind to actually get my sword into something better as well something stronger because I feel like I'm not doing that much damage especially when it comes to other players and other bosses but pickaxe is definitely something that I want to do and uh, we're gonna try to see if we can do any enchantments in today's episode not quite sure yet because I have so many other things planned for today's episode but as you guys can see how to actually do that is well uh, you can buy yourself enchantment tokens and you can use different type of items to actually turn it into enchantment tokens and most of it is actually from like killing the spider boss at war pvp for instance and uh, yeah but uh, once you get one enchantment token you can trade it into fortune um, another level of fortune and well you guys get the idea and uh, yeah but this is freaking amazing I'm so happy that they finally added it and I don't know if they have other district enchanters already out okay does seem like there is a spot for them um, is anybody in here are they invisible for me yeah they are okay but this guy is definitely not operating yet so I guess it's only one district right now and changes are coming soon. Fortune is going to give more blocks. New increase can occur more often. So I guess they're actually making it more stronger. Uh, which is exciting to see. And why am I invisible as well? Why is everybody invisible here? What's happening? Okay, we're going to get out of here because... Uh, we don't need to spend any more time at Mob Arena right now. So the place where we do need to spend a lot of time is, well, obviously in the mines because we need to get ourselves a lot of in-game money. And most of the in-game money I literally got by just simply mining and you just come across mine crates time to time and you make quite a bit of money through that. And also our selling prices are getting pretty amazing alongside with the blocks that we are mining. But guys, before I do any mining, I obviously want to rank up because today's episode is all about, you know, becoming OP, etc, etc. And OP players wouldn't be at the P rank. So we got to rank up, work our way up. So let's see how far we can rank up. Let's go ahead. Let's do slash rank up. Q rank, here we are. Let's go check out the mine real quick. And, uh, hello? And, oh my god, what the heck? This is a tiny, tiny mine. What? what? Are you kidding me? Yo, this is a really tiny mine, and we are mining also endstone. Let's go ahead and sell all. And we made 500k by just doing nothing. And uh, let's move on. Let's do slash rank up. R rank, here we are. Warp R. And this is so satisfying when you have been grinding like all day, all night. And then you're finally able to start ranking up. And another pretty small mine. But I guess the endstone is the special stuff to sell here. Let's see how much we're going to get. I'm just going to focus on the endstone. And uh, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Sell all. And we made 3 million nearly. Yo, that's insane. And, uh, well, now we're not going to be able to rank up to the S rank because we need another 300 million to actually do that. Uh, but I'm going to be mining actually now for, let's say, 10 minutes straight. Only 10 minutes. And we're going to see how much in-game money we're going to have by the end. We right now have 422 million. So we'll be back in a sec. Alrighty guys, so we have been mining for about 10 minutes now. Let's go ahead, let's look at our balance. And we are at 656 million, which means that we made about 230 million in 10 minutes, which is actually not bad at all. Alrighty guys, I think instead of actually mining and ranking up yet again, I think we're gonna go ahead and try out custom enchants because, I mean, it is freaking amazing that they are finally here. And as you guys can see, we have a little bit of items that we can actually use towards enchanting. So let's quickly grab everything that we have. And I think these are all the items that we may need. Um, except, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, so let's see here. One enchantment token. And for some reasons, it's invisible for me. Um, but we can still grab them. So let's quickly grab all the enchantment tokens that we can. Anyways, we're going to quickly get ourselves fortune free book. I think that's going to be pretty amazing to put on our pickaxe because we don't have any fortune. And I wonder if these fortune books we're going to be able to combine or not. But uh, we'll try it out. Then also I want to try out the nuker. So we're going to get nuker free. And then I think we should go for lucky one. Okay, so all you have to do is drag and drop. And there we go. And, okay, we're not actually able to put Lucky on our pickaxe. It goes for the sword instead. But I think the Lucky gives you a chance of getting enchantment tokens as well. But, dudes, this is actually pretty amazing. And I wonder what happens if I buy another Fortune Free book. Will I be able to put it on here? Yes! Yo! Okay! So now it's Fortune 4. And if we buy another one, I think it's gonna work as well. So let's get a lot of Fortunes. I think that's the one I wanna go with. 
And I also want to get a lot of nukers, but uh, wait, first let's see if nuker stacks. It does. Okay, dudes. Oh, no. All right, we can't put any more. So fortune four and nuker four is the highest we can go. But can we combine the books together? I think not. Okay, so I didn't notice, but there's also weapon steal and slowness. And I bought another lucky one, but uh, let's quickly grab this slowness as well. And I think that's all the ones that we have. And there we go. There we go. And I want to see if I can stack the slowness. Yes, we can. And can we stack the lucky? Yes, we can. Okay, dudes, we are actually enchanting a lot here. Okay, there we go. We have just finished enchanting and we actually went ahead and made the sword a little bit better as well. As you guys can see, we got the lucky maxed out and slowness maxed out. And I believe weapon steel maximum level is one, but I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we are able to put it on as well, but I ran out of enchantment tokens. So rip for that. But at least we managed to do a lot of enchantments in today's episode. And I didn't expect that we're going to enchant this much. And I'm so excited for it that custom enchants are finally through. And there's a lot of other custom enchants for us to find and discover. But anyways, let's see if this pickaxe is actually going any faster. And I think we're actually making a lot more in-game money now. Thanks to the fortune. And I believe that they were actually saying that they are planning to actually buff the custom enchants. Which is going to be very exciting. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But anyways, I think today's episode is now coming to an end. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys do subscribe with the notifications on. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And a peace out.